Hello everybody and welcome once again to Beyond the Galactic Science. In today's episode I would like to spawn some sheep but before we do that I'd like to also make an upgrade to the generating system so let's go down here and have a look. So as we saw this is working just fine but there is an efficiency we can do to this. So if we apply this one, the gas mixing compressor, there's two of them, there's a f air fuel this one's reasonably inexpensive, but improves the efficiency by 135%. But this one produces it by 185%. And that requires some advanced pressure valves. Iron coat, okay, that's no big deal. And iron frame, that's no big deal. But these are expensive. Basically, these are eight vibrant uh, alloys with one pressure valve. Pressure valve fairly straightforward. And I've already got six of those made. So let's go back to the to the base and start to produce these things. And I shall remember to remove this out of my hand so I don't go teleporting back again. Now, what do we need to do for that? I've got some ender pearls and some energetic alloy in here. Let's go and put, get those working first of all. So let's put that like that and like that, and that will produce some more vibrant alloy. I could put the other hop, uh, hopper full of those, so that will actually come through here. So we should now be getting some vibrant alloy. I've actually got plenty in here. Let's just take that, what I've got out. So, oh, we need to use that machine anyway. Because we need to make... Let's go back to this thing. The, really, the expensive thing in here was just, if I can find it, this one, is these. The rest of it is fairly straightforward. And I've already got everything else I need from the previous time and I found some more bits and pieces lying around which I successfully managed to put in another chest so that's done uh, actually I'll remove these out of here I don't think I need these for the time being let's just take them out we'll do those afterwards so one more so we need two of these, like that, and then we need 16 of these, so let's do it like this, there we go, and that will produce very slowly I think, oh not too bad, some of these advanced pressure valves, that one. So while that's doing that, is there anything else we can make? No. Not from that. Well, that's working away. There are a few more things I'd like to collect. My inventory is looking a weeny bit full. Let's go and put some of this stuff back into the thing. So 20 of those. I will actually put those into the hopper. And then when they're in the hopper, they'll automatically come down and get through. We've taken the others out. As you can see. There we go, we've got the two of those, and that'll start to produce some more vibrant alloys, which we can quite happily put back in here. You see that taken straight away. So, now I've got a bit more space. The other thing I'm going to do is to make a sheep, aren't I? Actually, this is, I do need to start this. That's an um, extra utilities chest here. So I've got a sheep. I've only got one sheep. I've got a, a pig and a cow. I've also got a cow spawner, so that won't um, a spawn egg from one of the quests in here. So I could actually make a cows fairly easily. Now that won't be a big deal. So I'll leave that in here for the time being. It won't stay, of course, because if I put it into there, it'll disappear into the other chest, probably here. Anyway, enough with chest magic. Let's make this thing now. I think all we need is one piston. We've got the rest of the components. Looking at the wrong chest. I used to keep them in there. That's why I keep looking down there. Another big bang from a meteor hitting somewhere. Right. Now that will increase the capacity. I might even make one of these. A high density powered capacitor. Which we need four octetic capacitors and an advanced generator. 
I should just make one of these. If we've got the components, we've got one of those. That's no big deal. What else can we make with that? What's the next level up? Look at the uses of that one. And then I need four double air capacitors, which I can't do with that lot. So I'll leave this for the time being. We'll just put this one in. Show that away somewhere. So what else I need to do is some brewing. So let's take some bottles of water. In fact, while I'm here, let's put this stuff away. I don't need any of this for the time being. I want that and that. And I want these. I'm going to put those into the processing sieving units for that. And I want an empty syringe here for that thing. The other one was a zombie syringe, which I did before. I guess I want to do some brewing, didn't I? Let's get some bottles out. Have I got three bottles here? Yes. I want to fill those up with water. Huh. What I'm going to do quickly is make a, another reservoir here. Did I go down too far then? My goodness, that was fast, huh? Oh yes, it's discharging because I haven't got the cubits thing in which in fact I can actually take out of the bag now. Let's take that out of the bag. Wrong one. Here we go. That'll then start it's already charged up. So what we'll also do is I'll take two water out of this bag here. In fact I'll put those in afterwards. In fact let's fill those up now. Is that one going to do there? Put those back into the bag. Control shift, clicking the, the one in the inventory will pull the one out of the hot bar too. So where is it gone to what I want? Let's put that up there. I want the three bottles. There we go. And we can simply right click these in here. And they go into there like that. We shall then put these into here with some nether wart to make some awkward potion. Nether wart should be here. Like that. We also want a ghast tier for regeneration. I think that's also in here. We've got 31. We'll sift quite a few, few bits and pieces, but that's going to take a few minutes to, or a few seconds to process through. And we also want one glowstone. I think that makes it a regen two. So, what am I trying to do? We've got those bits compared to that one. I think, actually, we only need to wait for the brewing. That's right. I've got dirt. I've got some fences. Oh, I want a grass seed. That's in the bottom one, which is sieving dirt. We've got some grass seed. And I don't want this yet. I'll put those in there like that. Keep those... Well, I'll chisel bits and pieces away. Has this finished yet? Yes it has. So this is potion of regeneration and the uses of that is this one we could get a regeneration two which lasts for 22 seconds. This one lasts for 45 seconds. I think two is probably better. So I'll put that into there like that and then we shall get some regen two. I'm going to move things a little bit around. Won't take very long. There we go. So now we've got regen two. Right, I can put those down there. So let's go back to the TARDIS. Let's go up to the room with the animals. What will the animals have or be? like this and I'm going to just lay this down here I'm going to put the dirt in here now just as a row and then I shall use the builder's wand to finish this off let's get the builder's wand out it's in this end bag
and then we shall put some sand on top uh sand we shall put this grass seed on top of that somewhere in the middle it's purple grass and the tardis don't ask me why but it is and then we have uh, we'll just fill in these here these are flat so let's just see if i've got any with me oh, i forgot to do that as well i wanted to do something else but there we are not in there not in there i will just put some i'll just put some dirt in here for the time being i think and change it later on for something that's a little bit more attractive and then we'll put some fences around here now so we for the animals oops get that in a minute After have to be careful with this thing, it's so powerful. And you'll see the grass is already starting to spread. We'll put a gate in the middle here. Actually, I'm not doing what I wanted to do here. But for the time being, I'll leave it. I really meant to put a, a set inside which I'll do anyway because I want basically one sheep and the gate like this so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the golden lasso like this move this out of the way and I'm going to take the potions of regen like this for the time being I'll keep the three together so I'm going to put the sheep down like this, hopefully into this block there, which we've got our one sheep. Now I'm going to take the syringe here and left click it, I think. No, right click, left click, yes. And that takes a heart and a half away. And I don't think that's enough. So let's just put down a potion of regen. Or it's oh, yes, I've made a mistake. But let's see if I can use this syringe so what do we need we need some wool some dirt and some leaves eight blocks of leaves so in here i don't have anything yet but we can put a stack of dirt in here we'll need some leaves and some wool have i got any wool with me and i don't know whether this has to be up to up to power either it also needs powering so Fortunately, we should now have power into our network. But I don't think I've got any. Yes, okay, quickly go whip back to the, to the base and get what we need. Let me have a look. Have I got on here some conduit? No. Never mind. Never mind. Should have some conduit in here item conduit energy conduit fine um i also need to make another one of those interfaces i could simply take the one i've got over here because that'll be filled up now anyway we'll take this one off here let's go to dismantle mode and shift right click this and then it comes off so we then can use that in the other place uh, i think I'm not sure if everything needs power or not. What else did we need? Oh, dirt, wool, and some leaf blocks. So leaf blocks shouldn't be a problem. Let's get some shears out. I don't, yes, I do have a pair of shears with me. And we can simply take these off here. This is what this tree is really for. I'd have to use this one for getting wool as well. And not yes, yeah, string for wool. Actually I'm hoping I've got enough. How much have I got now? 52. Alright, we'll strip off these. Plenty, I've now got almost a stack of 
leaves. Just double check because some yes, I picked up another one. So we need some wool. And we need some right, wool should be in it should be in there, but I think it's in here at the moment. Yes, we got wool. So one wool will be fine. We've got a lot plenty of leaf blocks. Let's take those out this time. Let's just take 16 with us. That should be more than enough. I think there was something else I wanted to do. Yes, there was. It's a bit of an aside, but I would like to go over here and collect from here some gold ore and at the same time put into here these Plutosa rocks. They were just collected. And in here I've got a stack of gold. Let's just take a stack of mercury gold ore. Now in galactic science the earth's been destroyed so there's no way of getting these minerals. So you can't get diamonds from the earth, you can't get redstone, you can't get there's no nether either, so you can't get anything from there. So that's why you're sieving stuff most of the time. I've got loads of rubbish as well. Let's put the gold into here for starters and let that produce some lots of stuff for us. Should get three stacks of gold out of that. Um, I think I've got everything I wanted now. Well, I haven't put this down yet because we're not actually using any power. Right, let's quickly go to the TARDIS. And let's quickly go and put that into there. Plenty of more saplings. Which I can simply put into here, I think. Yes, there we go. Get rid of those. I'm still picking them up though. So we'll put this one on top of here. It doesn't really matter where you put these things. You can go anywhere you like. I'll do it like I've done the other one over here, like that. To shift right click it of course so now it should be producing power 500 hours per tick but that should now go down in terms of fuel costs so let's have a look at what rate this is producing fuel at it's still producing the same amount of fuel it's difficult to know with the efficiency unfortunately because that's still producing 0.5 millibuckets per tick The reason for that is this can only use 0.5 millibuckets per tick until we increase the number of turbines. Right, so that's that done. I'm still, some saplings are very irritating. I wish that um, progressive automation would pick up all its saplings and not drop them all over the place. I can get rid of the last few there. Right, oh, you can hear the sheep, so the sheep's still alive, which is great. So let's connect all this up with power. So I think I will. This one's actually probably out of range. So let's simply take this and create another one here. And let's remove this one. Because I don't think I can have it. Maybe I can. Let's try. No, I said I want to do the way I want to do it. Let's just take a flat block. Left click that one. Oh, I can't left click it. Oh, because it's this. I probably have to put it back again, first of all. Dismantle mode. And now I probably can flatten it off, which I kind of good. So then I can come along here and reconfigure this one. Right clicking it. And we should then be able to put this cable interface on here. Right click that on. And then we should be able to attach some con some energy conduit to this. So if I attach these three together like this, and then one on here, and I think this also requires energy as well. Yes, it does. So that will also connect up there. So they're all now fully to be all fully charged. Yes, they're all got the fully charged now. They were before anyway, but because I moved them from somewhere else, so we need some of that and we need some wool like that 
and these also need to be turned oh I need to join, connect these two together don't I so what I need for that is an RF tools wrench which I've got this one a smart wrench and then you have to says it's not connected to a spawner so you have to sort of right click this no shift right click it no you have to take this the wrench and right click it and then right click that onto the to the spawner so it now says select the spawner this destination set and again like that and they should all be set up and if I then connect these three together I'm not sure if we'll get a sheep or not let's have a look I have got a feeling I've got to get a full spawn a full syringe before I can use this so let's take the syringe out of here and come along over here and let's get to this sheep over here oh I didn't really make the splash potion did I that's what I forgot to do I do apologize let's go back quickly and make the splash potion Actually, I should move the brewing stand inside it might be easier but that also means I've got to move all of this stuff in as well so let's just take a splash potion okay so we just need to put these three in here and then one splash potion and then wait a few seconds yes I want that don't I right back to the TARDIS there isn't uh, the quick way might not be so quick this way so I'm going to go the long way around now you'll see that the health of this sheep hasn't recovered it doesn't recover so if you put the splash potion down, say, oh, I'll get it to place if I can. Whatever I've got with me, let's put down a block of dirt so I can reach the sheep easily. Like that. Now. So now I can still reach the sheep and I want to put this down oh, where I can throw it. Can I throw it down here? Yes, I can. Now the sheep will actually should recover and you can see it's doing so. Let's so let's right click that. And again, nearly killed it that time, but you'll see it's coming, health is coming up again. So wait till it's got to four and a half and take it again. Now it's now it's finished, so we have to do this again. Hopefully I'm going to get this 100% that I need, which is the three splash potions. So let's check that down again. So we're into sheep now. Now, and you see, you can actually heal animals. I was reading in a forum you couldn't actually heal animals. Okay, one more. I think we'll just do one more because the sheep should be. I think this is nearly full. Now. Let's have a quick look. Two more to go. Well, we should be able to do that with one more potion of regeneration. So now we've got a full syringe. And the sheep should also be just about healed. Now the sheep's healed, we can actually easily break the fence. I need to be careful I don't kill the sheep. Well, there we go. So you can get out there now. Right, take that away as well, so it doesn't get out as well. Good. So now we should be able to put the syringe in here. Let's get my golden lasso around, ready prepared. And it should produce a sheep. And now what's wrong with this? It doesn't seem to have the matter in it. Have we lost some of the matter? No, it's all there. Ah, 50. Essence level is 100%. Mob sheep. 
Oh, challenge. But it hasn't infused. Mm hmm. Now I'm not sure exactly what's wrong. It should simply fuse and produce a sheep. Mm hmm. Have I not got enough matter in there? Let's put some more dirt in. Oh, plenty of dirt and it's cheap. Oh, should we should go and get some more leaves and some more wool. Okay, we'll do that while it's messing around. And maybe get some more dirt just in case. I have actually done this before. It did work last time, so I'm very confused as to why it's not working. So. But I didn't try it with a half a syringe last time. Maybe that was the problem. They're quite freaky, those bangs from the, the meteors. So what did I need? Some dirt. I've got some dirt which I now put in, so that should be okay. I needed some wool. It should be in this chest here. And some leaf blocks. Take two just in case. Mess it up again. And some leaf blocks. Let's take all of those. Go back to the TARDIS. Um, see if that sheep's working. Oops. Oh, honestly. Let's move that out to my hand. Go right in through the right door as well. Actually, if, since I'm actually working up here a bit more, it might be sensible to, to come down here and do that as well. So that was leaf blocks, wasn't it? And then the last one is wool. Just put one piece of wool in. And then we got one sheep. Fantastic. Look at that. Let's go and get the sheep. And then turn off these. Hopefully it doesn't produce any more then. So then we can put the sheep down here like that. And all we need now is a animal farmer. Not sure I'll go and make one of those. I wasn't sure that was going to work 100% because that's the first time I've done a sheep. I did cows last time and they worked, but it was a bit of an interesting challenge. So wheat and a animal farmer. And I'm going to use one from Progressive Automation again. So that'll be, I think it's... Um, this one so it's just a pair of shears and this and a furnace oh, we got a furnace in here yes a pair of shears two iron blocks uh, chest and lots of wood which I haven't got in there so we'll go out here and get some wood and at the same time also pick up a stack of wheat wood what are we going to use? We'll use the birch. We've got tons of birch. And fuel as well. So I'll take some fuel pellets. That's another progressive automation fueling technique. You take these two here like this and just go across like that. And it makes these fuel pellets. And 64 is quite a lot of fuel pellets. I'll have to keep it running for quite a while. It's got a burn time of 200, so that's twice a stick. So what else did I want to do? I'll put the wool back into this chest here. Now I don't need this. I probably don't need the dirt. I'll leave it in here. All we will want. Would we want? I mean, so we need to make the art, art farmer, don't we? And I haven't got the shears yet. Try again. So that. So we also need some upgrades for this. For that we need some redstone. And the upgrades basically are just, or maybe I should have taken more wood, like this. Seven, that'll be seven two, that'll be 14. It's probably not enough, let's go and make some more. I need, because these are quite large, they're 81s. I 
20. That'll be 40. That'll be 40. It's not enough still. Hmm. Well, I'll get up. I think I'll use it for the time being. That'll be enough for the time being. Anyway, so let's put that back. And we need shears, I think, for wool. So it's well worth taking another pair of shears. But we also need a shearing upgrade if we're doing sheep. So that's that one. Make some more shears anyway while I'm at it. I forgot, I don't know what the shearing upgrade recipe requires. Right. Let's check what that is because. Mob filter animals. Shearing upgrade is milk upgrade, shearing upgrade. So another pair of shears, some wood, some stone, uh, some wool stone and leather. Have I got any leather in here? I think I still have a bit of leather about, yes I have. I made that using mine chem. Quite a process actually. Stone. Do I not see any stone about? Okay, quickly go and chop. Let's go and quickly process this into stone. Actually, I've got plenty of stone. Put that in there. Got plenty. I've got a bit of stone. I'll take a stack. So we want this one. I should have enough. I need to wool, don't I? Right. So now we have our the right upgrade for that. In fact, I'll put the the wood and this over back in here. I don't need that for the time being. Look at all these saplings. Right, that will do. Let's go back into the TARDIS. So around about the middle is here. So that's where I want to put the, the farmer down. Oops. Ah, I just didn't do that, did I? I think it wants to go about here. Of course the sheep's in the way. Move out of the way, sheep. That's good. That's a good girl. There. Right, good. So now we can put the we can put the shearing upgrade in here. We can put see now it opens a spot for shears. Five. Let's put all this in. That's forty seven. Okay, that'll do. And then we want to Put some shears into here. I'll put some shears in here and I've got some fuel. Like that and I've got plenty of. So we need to bring the sheep a bit nearer now. What I'm going to do to do that is so it's seven by seven, so that's basically here I think. And let's move the fences around here. Let's see if I can keep the sheep in at the same time. Well, that's no big deal if I don't, because I just got the zoos and we'll just put all the zoos down. Thank you. Uh, like that. I basically, I want them one block down, don't I? Okay, let's put that one down there. And this one, take this one out too and put that one there, like that. So that should be enough range. Yes, we've now got our, our first baby. So we'll just leave those running for the time being. And we should end up with a whole load of sheep. I should remove these fences, because I'm going to do the same thing again for pigs, but I'll do that off camera. 
I won't bother recording it. And I won't and I'll do the cows. The cows are fairly straightforward anyway. Because the cows all the cows need is um I'll go right, good. I just need to put two cows on the farm down. So that's it. How to get basically animals recovered. So I can recover. So anyway, I don't need to worry about this now because I've got a syringe full of sheep. And I don't need to use that again, but if I, all my sheep die, I've always got that to replenish the sheep. Just need a few bits of wool, which we've got, and some leaves, which we'll have, and that's it. So that part is done. So that's that for today. Have I done my last thing? Yes, I have. So until next time, bye for now.